I think um, no country in the world has gone as far as the Swiss in terms uh, of uh, government um, uh, of the people, by the people, for the people. My name is Felix Mössner. I'm the CEO of Swiss Snacks at the Science Consulate of uh, Switzerland. Uh, it is a really a great uh, honor and a privilege to welcome you to uh, the Swiss Day at ha Harvard, uh, which will host uh, several speeches on the topic why Switzerland is one of the most competitive uh, countries in the world. I, I'm not yet entirely through, but it's a, a brilliant book uh, written by James Briding. And we are also here to build bridges bridges between North, Northern America and Switzerland, connecting the dots in education, research and innovation. The idea can come from anywhere, the customers can be anywhere, the mode of production can be anywhere, uh, and the money can come from anywhere. That is a much more competitive world than it has ever been. 95% of the Swiss exports are these old tick 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 movements that do not perform. They don't tell time right. I gave a lot of money emotionally away because I like somebody or I like, oh, this is a great guy and he has a good program and it's a great charity. If it succeeds, I don't know. But that's we're back to the feel good thing and you need this also when you get a little bit older. What I think is probably the most important issue facing societies, not just in Switzerland, but across the developed world, is just how, how do you actually deploy the most important asset you have, which are people. There really isn't a theory of why some countries have strong apprenticeship systems and others don't. When we worry about what happens to this current generation of young people, we worry about youth unemployment. Suddenly, privacy concerns becoming a real issue uh, for a global uh, company based in Switzerland. Uh, and the interesting part is if, if you would drill down and, and look at the actual curriculum uh, with respect to media education and digital literacy, it's amazing uh, what this curriculum uh, requires uh, students to know after their basic education, after primary school. <laughs> Sorry, this was the little advertising <laughs> session because it's the end of the speech. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>